This is ESPR Boxing. Delighted to be joined by, by Macaulay Gowrie in Birmingham for the press conference set of Saturday night. Macaulay, really nice to meet you. Um, how are you? Just what did you think of the press conference? Do you want to hold that? Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, the press conference is somewhat, somewhat new for me, that. Um, bit, pretty boring, aren't it, once you've said what you wanted to say? It's pretty boring. Um, but yeah, it's part of, the, part of the job. It feels good. It's what you dream of as a kid, you know. You watch boxing as a kid and stuff, and you see, you see the pressures, and you... I've got a good slot on Saturday, so yeah, it's everything that I always knew would happen in my career. Definitely, um, big fight against Tyler Denny. I think he's been on, he's been on a bit of a roll. Um, just kind of thoughts on him. You've been around the game for a while, so has he. Have you encountered him much in the past before? No, I haven't actually. No, it's funny though. I was, I was actually looking at his record, and he boxed, and I showed that I boxed him Wolverhampton years back. So yeah, it's mad that like, I, I only just realised that now. Um, I've seen his progress over the last year or so when he's been on these shows and mate, hey, fair play to him, he's, he's, doing, he's done the business every time and he's on a good roll, being good kids, he must, he, he's, you know, he must be confident in that but you know, I'm confident in myself and I'm looking to get the win Saturday. Yeah. I had a little look at um, the betting odds on, on, on the train up here, noticed you're at, I think it's 5-1 to one on some platforms to win, um, I think it's fair to say some people aren't, are kind of aren't giving you as much chance they should be in this fight, um, whether it's one reason or another. Just what are your thoughts on, on being the underdog going into Saturday? I knew I'd be the underdog. I always know I am. I was actually shocked, like you said, it was 5-1. to one. Normally it's 11-2 to two or I, mean, I think it was 12-1 to one at one stage with some other people. Yeah, the odds are the odds. People's opinions, like arseholes, aren't they? Everyone's got one. I, I, don't, I just block out the noise now. I know what I can do, and that's now... I don't care if not one other person in this world thinks I can win. As long as I know I can win, that's all that matters. Yeah, definitely. Um, just want to talk on the location here. I know you were in France for your last fight. You've gone to Spain. We're in Birmingham. I know you're, and, um, know you're based in Manchester now. Um, what, have you enjoyed going abroad for fights? Is that something you want to do in the future? Um, or would you prefer to stay in the UK? Do you want to have fights back in Manchester? What do, what do you want to do? Nah, I like this, you know. I do. I, I like going abroad. I like this. This is what boxing is about. This is how I always pictured boxing. Traveling away, you're the underdog, big platform, and you get the job done, man. This is this is what I always dreamed of. This is how I always pictured boxing. So, yeah, nah, I like it. But in, like they said before, welcome to Manchester. And uh, then Ben said, oh, it's because we always got shows in Manchester. And I thought, well, I'm never on him. <laughs> um, just a final question from me, um, Macaulay. Um, there's uh, rumours that if Tyler was to win Saturday, he's in line for the European title next. I don't know if that's confirmed or not. That's just what the rumours are saying. If you win on Saturday, where, where does that put you, do you think? Well, Saturday's for an EU title. It's the European External Union title. So it means that any country that's geographically in, the Euro in Europe, but not politically in the European Union, I'll be champion of. So I win that. I take his place. If, that's it, if he's in line for it, whatever it is. Yeah, whatever. Fantastic. McCool and McGowan, all the best.